Let me get to this next topic, right? Um, at what point should a person become open to having sex or losing virginity? Jude, I think this was your topic. Yeah, um, I just heard a young lady saying how um, she was eager to get it. She liked getting attention and affection from guys, and she felt like having sex brought a lot of that for her. And I feel like, you know, as a young man, um, I, I even feel like, you know, my life growing up, we're, you know, forced to think about sex at a young age. So I just want to think, want to know, what do you guys think about, like, you know, you know, at what age is it appropriate to even think about sex? So how was that experience for you? Or what would you tell another young person that's listening to us? Like, you know, should it just all be, oh, I'm attracted to you or I got feelings for you? Or is it something you should discuss with your family, your parents? You know, mm-hmm. so just what's your thoughts about it? Well, I feel like I want to go first on this one. But um, I feel like um, I, I lost my virginity at a young age. You know what I mean? I just think it, it comes down to comfortability. You know I mean, if you, you, I don't even say you ain't think, if you think like you're ready, because when you're young, you think you're ready for anything. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? But I just, this this day and age, I think that there's a lot of access to sexual things, you know what I mean? Yeah. Porn, you know what I mean? Movies and stuff like that. So it's, it's really hard. Like, women, people are having sex at young ages in this generation I think I just think it's education and comfortability at that point like your parents need to be in their children's lives and talk it to them especially in this generation because it's so accessible but when you lost it was it like oh I'm ready to lose it or was it like you you felt you were pressured to lose it because you know as young boys we do get pressured. Oh, you still a virgin or yeah. whatever the case is. I was just slap them niggas lying yeah. for sure. But you know what I mean. So did yeah. you feel like you were pressured or you genuinely was in a situation where you like I'm ready to have this? So. I think because I was a curious young kid. You know what I mean? So what well, I had to dial up. You know what I mean? I was on the website side. <laughs> so, you know I, mean? I was curious at a young age. So. Once the opportunity presented itself, the, I jumped on it, and I, I don't regret it. You know what I mean? So at this age that I'm at, I still don't regret it. So mm-hmm. I feel like I was comfortable and I was ready at my age, but that that's not the case for everybody. You got to figure out where you at in your life and how comfortable you are. And I believe you you did break the record for the youngest person to ever eat ass, right? <laughs> no, that was I think that was Elijah. Um, I don't Elijah, know who the fuck you just said that was. He, I think that was I, I think that was that Elijah. Thing. Yeah, yeah, he nah, definitely. That, that was a different he, nigga. I don't know. Who he you definitely just came said. out the womb eating ass. So I ain't gonna lie. To right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your thoughts on this? Um, I would say personally, definitely having a conversation. Sex nowadays mm. is, yeah, it could be easily accessible, but. There's a lot of things going on in this world that you should definitely consider, mm-hmm. you know, things that's incurable. And you mm-hmm. want to make sure that um, mm-hmm. that safety, your safety is first. And that goes back into what I was saying about the self-love. You definitely want to get the information in and not just give your body to anybody. Facts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How y'all feel? Oh, well, I got a, um, I got a 17 year old that's staying with me with a baby. That's what? Staying with me with a baby. That's a male or female? It's hard to talk to her about, you know, God and stuff because she already did it already. So what I'm going to say, she already did it. She, I mean, you got to talk to her about the I next mean, one. I mean, I can talk to her about motherhood. Right. You know what I'm saying? How to take care of and, not, and stuff like that, but still don't get it. Is the father in the life? No. See, you got that's that's what you need to talk to her about. Like, the next time you have a baby, you got to make sure this person is committed to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just be out here not pushing them out. Father, like, right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He was abusive. Let me, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What kind of what kind of man your daughter is into? Huh? Is she is she also not into her daughter? It's somebody. No, you oh, said you said, you daughter, said right? your daughter, right? No, not my not my oh. daughter. Oh, okay, okay. Was it a son? It's a, no, she said it's she my has somebody. Niece's in. Friend, best friend. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Oh, I, got you. I okay, thought it was your man, daughter, right? Yeah. Like staying with us, she got like she got a newborn baby, and she fell with team. Right. So like, yeah. How mother is in her life? So much to her about sex and. I mean, I tell her, like, yo, protect yourself when you go out there. I don't know what you're doing, but, yeah. you know, she's her own person. She's her own woman. You still got to talk to them, though. Man. You know, I still talk to her, yeah. but yeah. they don't the, get it. Is it, her mother, like, her, her parents in her life that. or no? Hmm? Her parents are in her life? Yeah. And they're not talking to her? Father died in her life. Yeah. Dad died in her life. I, I don't know. 
I don't know. I do talk to her from time to time. You yeah. know, see where she at in, in the head. Yeah. But she's not, you know, grind me more, you know, mm-hmm. nothing there. It's like she just, mm-hmm. no. Mm-hmm. All right, folks, we're going to pray. Right. Everybody need to pray. Right. Um, for me, I would definitely say the, well, you should start having sex when you're ready to have sex. Um, and that could be any age or whatever. Me personally, I feel like I had sex too early. It wasn't that crazy, but um, I was senior in high school, so I think that's pretty late compared to a lot of people. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. Why, but, why do you feel like it was too late? Um, I just because people was having sex in middle school. That's so fair. it's like for me to wait all the way that's to see my senior year was kind of, I kind of felt like okay, it wasn't too bad, but. Um, me now, I kind of wish that I never would have did it, but that's just me in the place that I am today. Yeah. Um, but sex education, sex education is so important. I feel like you have to educate yourself, especially with everything that's going on in today's society. You just never know. And you need to get tested. You need to use protection. And I'm an educator. So I make sure I tell my students this all the time. Like Mm -hmm. y'all out here having fun, Mm -hmm. but Sometimes that fun gonna come with consequences. So Do you feel like you was pressured? By... Um, I felt like because I thought I was in love with my little boyfriend mm. that and he I knew he wanted to, so I was right. just like, Okay, whatever. But I regretted it afterwards. We like, always want to, but or, <laughs> was it a right after or later down the line? It was right after. God damn. <laughs> Craziness, man. Now, I I definitely agree <laughs> with what you said about the uh the sex education. Man, motherfuckers is going crazy over there. Like, yo, I'm not going to hold you. But um, the sex education is definitely important. I think the access to um, the sexual content, I feel like that shit is just fucking every. You can't avoid that can't motherfucker. Avoid like, that shit, before even when the internet was new, we had to dial up. There was still parental controls. Like, now the kids are putting the parental controls for the parents. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they're locking the parents out. They're like, no. And, and, like, and my, my day, like, I was more tech savvy than my parents. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, it's on. It's on. That shit was off the whole time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, we were just switching on and off. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So for um, definitely <laughs> more education. Um, Maybe try to restrict them to um, sexual content as much as possible. You know what I mean? Even when they be on these games, they may, maybe an ad might pop up. and then, I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, having these conversations, letting them know the ramifications. Yo, when I was in middle school, we had, and nobody seems to have had this situation, but for home economics, we they gave us a baby to take home for the weekend. I never had that. Bro, that's only that's only outside the tri state, bro. I I seen it on TV, so yeah, I seen it it in shows, but we never had it in the tri state. But it it was definitely a great experience because that shit cried. You had to hold it a certain way. You got to fucking put the battery in. You know what's crazy? In junior high school, I'm watching like. I think it might have been Family Matters or Fresh Prince or something. They had to take home the baby and shit. I'm like, yo, so when we get to high school, we going to get that? I got to high school. And it was none of that yeah, shit, bro. I'm yeah, like, what I'm the fuck? My baby dad was going to be and everything. I was excited. <laughs> yo, but that weekend showed me a lot about being yeah. a parent. I was like, nah, exactly. I ain't yeah. trying to do this. So, again, I had a different yeah. mentality. Like, yo, you know, let me yeah. wear more protection, obviously. You know what I mean? Yeah, that um, could change your whole perspective. Man. Yeah, you know, there be needs to be more pre- Obviously, we just live in a social, the sexual, like, mm-hmm. use protection, please. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 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 it didn't affect me, but I'm pretty sure it affected other people in my age group. Sure, I feel like exactly opposite. Like, you said, yeah. you don't, it's not that I want to say I regret having sex, but the yeah. person I lost my virginity to, <laughs> like, I didn't say any words to her afterwards. You get what I'm saying? I feel yeah. like that's pointless. There's no, no connection. I wish it was with somebody I actually cared for or yeah. somebody I had even dated you get what i'm saying yeah. like i'm talking about two three weeks later i ain't never say nothing else i was you like you got, for a stripper uh, no it, it was, it was a girl from the building i lived in He's but once she didn't once she didn't, once she didn't give like, me it yeah. again i was like all right well fuck it next to the next person but i felt like i had to get it again because the, the the pressure that i we don't speak on but like a whole all your homeboys is lying to you telling you you oh you ain't get no pussy oh this nigga ain't no you ain't no pussy ass. So I'm like right, you know right. 14 years old like nah I gotta get yeah. finding out this nigga ain't get no pussy yeah. and right. I'm, I'm I'm fighting a battle that don't exist you get yeah. what I'm saying said, I was just clapping some cheeks matter of yeah. fact on my way here I was yeah. clapping some cheeks right. you know what I'm saying right. but yeah. you know we we feel pressured and feel like we have to do it but I think even as men we shouldn't uh, just you know look for sex you know what I'm saying at a young age we need to focus on how we gonna grow and build you know what I'm saying outside of sex. 
get your get some pussy when you're ready and yeah. when you're comfortable yeah. or with that right person. But don't just throw it away on a throwaway. No pun intended. Yeah, but, I, I feel like when you have sex too fast, you create unhealthy bonds. I think men are such simple creatures. You think? So? Yeah, yeah, simple. I believe Not it. Too all. Much. Oh yeah. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. You know I, 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 I hear what you're saying, but I think um, that pressure, for me, it built character. You know what I mean? Because I, I look at people in this is this day and age, and they socially awkward. They don't know how to talk to women and shit. So I, I feel like that having that pressure on me, it really made me like, you know what I mean, take that leap and being able to talk to women and stuff like that. You know what I mean. I'm not saying that you have to have sex, but yeah. sometimes you need that pressure, you know what I mean, to, you know what I mean, break out of your shell. Now, that's for sure. And I think sometimes, like you say, it was pressure. Some men, they still want to compete with their homeboys. So mm-hmm. their whole mentality is tunnel vision. Let me, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, he just caught another body. Let me get another body. Yeah, like, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. So now you want to go battle for yeah. battle. Y'all want to do a versus yeah. with bodies and shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how many niggas, like, yo, I, I fuck oh, so and so, but I fuck, like, so it becomes yeah, a competition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, it, and it comes unhealthy because now that's the only thing you seem to be focused on in your life is how many women that's you can have right. sex with, and that becomes a currency to other men for you. Like you know what I mean? Not how much money you got, how many you know businesses you open. It's just oh, yeah, well, I fuck so and so. I got a big mind. That, like, that's that's healthy though. That, it, that becomes healthy. Like how many businesses you open? Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 like that's help. That's a healthy. Oh, you. you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Competition. Yeah, 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 for sure, mm-hmm. man. Anyway, man, we appreciate y'all for being on the show again. Let them know where they can follow you. 